want a comprehensive report on the surviving human resistance across the planet, and an estimate of their capabilities on my touchpad within two units. Yes, Praetor. Greetings, Praetor. Holy Cleric, I was unaware of your presence on the planet. Excuse me for not meeting you personally at the landing pad. Of course I did not expect you to meet me when you were not told of my arrival. As a matter of fact, I hid my presence from you for the purpose of observing how you handled the capture of the Codex. Your secrecy was unnecessary, Holy One. If you had but announced your presence, you could have been provided Please, with... Please, Praetor, do not argue. Come, let us walk. I wish to remain unknown so that I could observe you without bias, and I must admit I am impressed by what I saw. Your use of the element of surprise allowed us to recover the Codex from the humans with no damage to its holy structure, and with minimal loss of life. It was a superb example of your considerable military prowess, and an auspicious beginning to the final step in the quest to fulfill our covenant. Your holiness flatters me. Nonsense! Because of you, the human resistance on the planet has been broken, and we now stand in the presence of one of the holiest structures in the universe. The Codex. Hidden deep within its majestic structure lies the power of the gods, and the knowledge that we need to finally embark upon the great journey. And not only do we have you to thank for its discovery, but also now for its quick and safe capture from the vile humans. You can be assured that my report to the Prophets will reflect your actions in a very favorable light. I thank you, Cleric, but I fear your holiness is too kind. Much of the credit belongs to another. Holy Cleric, I introduce Onda Sofidi, Special Operations Commander and the leader of the force that took the cave. Hail, Holy Cleric. A female? Yes, but do not let her gender fool you. Onda Sofidi is one of my fiercest warriors and most trusted allies. I will do my best. You will speak when you are spoken to, breeder, and not before. Praetor, I am appalled that you would entrust such an important mission as the recovery of the Codex to a female. She is a capable warrior. To entrust the mission to any other would be foolhardy and a waste of valuable resources. The mission was a success. The mission was sloppy. Any fool with a training weapon could have done better. Commander, restrain your warriors. Cleric, you would do well to remember that the Prophets appointed me to command the invasion and occupation, and thus my decisions are beyond question. The Commander is a capable military leader, and you will treat her with the respect that is due a warrior of her rank. Commander, return to your barracks. You will obey an order from your superior, breeder, or face the consequences. Commander, return to barracks. Your soldiers must be tired from the battle. See that they are given what they need. Yes, Praetor. Praetor, I want you to listen to me very closely. The Prophets may have put you in charge of this operation, but they put me in charge of you. I am here with their blessing to monitor your actions and make sure that you do not repeat your past mistakes. The Prophets know me to be a loyal servant. They can see into my heart, and there is nothing there but loyalty. Now you flatter yourself. Your failure to alert the Council of the Codex's discovery has made them quite suspicious. While I may be under your command for now, I could remove you at the slightest hint of heresy. One word from me, and you will be tortured before the Council, and I would be placed in charge of the operations here. So before you try to assert your power or put me in my place, I would advise you to remember just how much your current situation is dependent on my satisfaction. Not only your rank and position, Praetor, but your very life hangs in the balance. Are you threatening me, Cleric? I am generously reminding you of that fact before you do something rash. I have been granted a host of Seraphim for this endeavor. 
They are my eyes, Praetor. And I am always watching. I am the sole commander of all military forces on the planet, by order of the Prophets. Your Seraphim must report to me. You are rash and naive, Praetor. I am the arm of the Prophets, and as such, I constitute the penultimate religious authority on this world. The Seven Seraphim have been sent here as my personal guard. They, along with their subordinates, answer to me, and I would not suggest putting their loyalty to the test. If you are going to have me killed, Cleric, do so. Until then, do not waste my time with talk. I have a world to manage. By all means, Praetor. I would not wish to delay you from your appointed duties. Please, go and continue your labors in the name of the Prophets and the Covenant. And again, congratulations on your successful recovery of the Codex. Watch him. If he displays the slightest hint of heresy or rebellion, arrest him. quite an entrance.